Hello my loves, thanks for returning. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on my recommendations, my wish list, and I was thinking about it, but, and those are just items that I really wanted to get, but after reading reviews and doing a little bit of research on particular ingredients and things like that, I decided not to. So this video is going to be rather quick. I don't wanna keep you all long. I know you've probably seen a million of them. I had a few requests to do the video, so I thought, hey, why not? I would pop in and give it a go. So let me know down in the comments what you plan to get, uh, what you want, are interested in and you're no longer interested in if I'm interested in something and uh, there's some type of information that you know about the product that it would be good for me to know as well as other ladies out there that read the comments please leave it down below because as I've said before all of you all have such great information that you share and before I start again the sale starts today March 18th and it goes through April 6th so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with today's date I hope that I can get this up fast enough in enough time uh, so if you decide to get anything that I recommend for today's date and I will be looking periodically down at my phone just to kind of refer to the items that are going to be on sale so the only thing that I would recommend for today's date is the dose of colors Desi and Katie Frencation palette I do have that palette and here is the packaging I would recommend it I think the mattes are really good I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting it at regular price but since it is on sale I would definitely say jump on it here it is right here I think the packaging is gorgeous anybody who has watched me for any length of time you know that I'm a sucker for packaging I love it but outside of that here are the shades and I don't really think that the metallics and things like that are the star of the show I think the mattes are I think they are very blendable very smooth there's no patchiness I any Anytime I use this palette, I come out with some really good looks. As far as the metallics are concerned, they're really pretty too. They are especially pretty if you wet your brush, but I would definitely jump on this for 50% off. And for March 19th, I was thinking about it, but... So there's the Skin Iceland. It's the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream with Glacial Flower Extract. That really piqued my interest, but I got to, I got to, you know, reading reviews and just kind of seeing what folks had to say about it. A lot of people were saying that it broke them out. Some people were saying it smelled bad. Some people were saying that it had, like it had a texture of cottage cheese and it was just really difficult to apply under the eye. And um, it was just a lot of red flags. So that one, I was thinking about it, mm, but not so much. And I'm not sure, I'm sure all of you all are like this as well. You know, before you get ready to buy, a product you read reviews sometimes I'll go online and there'll be little forums you know current forums and you know people will talk about stuff and sometimes you can see if uh, if there's some type of lawsuits against companies or things like that but I try to do that especially before I choose a new skincare product just to kind of see if a lot of people are having any kind of weird reactions you know just to see if there's any kind of red flags go up so that one I was thinking about it but and the next recommendation that I have is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pots. I have two of these and I think that they are really, I think they really work well as a base. MAC describes them as a cream eyeshadow, but a lot of people use them as bases, uh, uh, primers, um, just a lot of that. But if you go on the MAC, wet, bleh, if you go on the MAC website, they have different shades. And the two shades that I have are, what is this? I have Painterly and I just have a black. And I can tell you, I've had these two for about, I know it would have to be going on three years now and they have not dried out of course I keep my top very very tight I would definitely recommend this product most people like them honestly I haven't seen in I haven't run across anyone that does not like them so definitely hop on that train all right so for my wish list I would like to try the Ico I do liquid eyeliners those are coming in at 
50% off $11. And here lately, I've just been wanting to try different brands of the liquid eyeliners with the felt tip. The only one that I have is the Tarte Kitten Eyeliner and I have a Wet n Wild. And I, this year, I really do want to see what other brands have to offer. I am particularly looking for a liquid eyeliner with a felt tip that is matte. So let me know if you all have any recommendations because I'm really on the hunt for that. All right, for Thursday, March 21st, the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Overnight Cream is on my wish list. That is regular $75 and it's on sale for $37.50. And I did look at the reviews and there were some reviews out there that said that, you know, it broke them out or they had some type of issues with it. But I looked at the dates and the dates were kind of stretched out from three years ago. You had a few three years ago and a few two years ago and a, a few a year ago or something like that. So since it wasn't that many negative reviews or one star reviews and since they were so stretched out over a long period of time, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to roll the dice and try that one. But as many of you all know, Juice Beauty uses a lot of organic and natural products and I've tried some of their products before in the past and I was happy with them. I did at one time I was really interested in their foundation and things like that but they didn't have a shade deep enough but that is definitely on my wish list mainly because of the ingredients plus it's said to renew the surface of the skin so I figured that may help with some of the issues or the texture issues that I have right around the mouth and things like that all right and for March 22nd the only thing that I would recommend for that day is the Too Faced chocolate gold palette and I'm sure that every youtuber that you've watched is recommending that palette here it is I love it so all of the shades in here are metallic you do have three mattes but the metallics are very blendable they're very pigmented uh, even the mattes are very creamy and soft and they all blend well it's just in my opinion it's one of their better palettes and it smells good too and that never hurt anyone all right and for March 23rd they will have the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wizard I would definitely recommend those I used to use them some years back Back, but I kind of got away from it because $21 in my opinion is a bit on the pricey side I do feel as though they're worth it but there are other pencils out there that I feel do just as well the next thing that I was thinking about getting but is the philosophy time in a bottle 100% in control resist renew repair serum and the regular price for that is $76 it'll be on sale for half off and the main reason that I was interested in this product is because it's says that it'll stimulate skin's natural repair functions to help repair skin damage at its source. And I was thinking, okay, this is this sounds like something I really want. But of course, after reading the reviews, I'm not so sure about it. If you look in the ingredients, it does contain alcohol denate, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And as many of you all know that that can be very, that can irritate the skin, that can dry the skin, and in some cases, it can cause breakouts. So I'm thinking for that amount of money, um, even if it is half price, I don't want to risk uh, breakout skin dryness and just all of that plus my skin is on the sensitive side and I don't really want to dab dibble and dabble into anything that's going to cause my skin any issues all right the next recommendation that I have is for March 24th and it would be the it brushes for Ulta and here it is right here this is the love beauty fully complexion powder brush and it's on sale for half off the regular price is $36 I really like this brush and I particularly like to use it for bronzing my face or either applying powder and it's really fluffy as you can see and it kind of goes up at a little point and I know it's dirty uh, I used it to do my makeup look but it's a really really pretty brush and I would say if you can get it half off definitely jump on it I think they hold up really well they're extremely soft they don't poke your face as well they shouldn't as expensive as they are well $36 is, is expensive to me so if you can get it for half off definitely jump on it the next recommendation that I have is it's for March 26th and this would be the Nikki Tutorials Oprah highlighting trio 
This is on my wish list. I'm probably for sure going to get this. I honestly think that I'm the only person in YouTube land that does not have a Ofra highlighter and everyone says that they are blinding and I love highlighters. Even though I'm going to be doing a highlighter declutter soon and uh, so be looking out for that video. But yeah, that is definitely on my wish list. And for March 27th, Beauty Bakery has some HD flower setting powders. I do want to try these. All of the reviews that I've seen have been positive. Plus it's an indie brand and I would definitely like to give them a try. And two shades are on my wish list, the brown shade and the yellow shade. So that is on my wish list and I'm hoping that it is just as good as all of my other favorites. And for March 29th, can you guess, can you guess what that is? What's on my wish list? It's just one item for that day that's on my wish list. And they are the Velour Lashes. And they are normally $26. And the style that I would like are the Friends with Benefits Lux Faux Mink Lashes. And you all know, I guess for the, for the folks out there that re normally watch me, you all know that I'm El Cheapo and I will only pay so much for some lashes. However, I have always wanted an expensive pair of lashes. And if you ask me, $26, that's, that's kind of up there. So those are definitely on my wish list. And for March 30th, on my wish list are the, the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliners. I said earlier in the video that I wanted to try the Ico eyeliners out and I just want to see what's out there. That has been something that I've never really tried. I typically stick with the gel eyeliner. So again, this is another one that's on my wish list. All right, and for March 31st, I would recommend the Urban Decay eyeshadows and the, they have the Moondust eyeshadows as well as the regular eyeshadows. And I have the regular eyeshadows here. Um, this is just to kind of give you an idea of how much I like them. And I kind of got a feeling I don't have my hands on all of them, but I think that they are really, I think they're super blendable. They don't necessarily swatch the best, but when you go to apply them and blend them out, I think that they are really beautiful. I have a blue one and a green one. I'll just go ahead and swatch them for you. So there you go, right there. And then there's also the Moon Dust eyeshadows, which I would recommend as well. And I don't have the singles, but I do have the Moon Dust eyeshadow palette. And I really like these. I particularly like to use these as toppers. So if you are a person who loves toppers, I would definitely say to check this palette out. Let me go ahead and swatch a few for you. All right, and I have a recommendation for April 3rd, and that would be the Cover Effects Setting Powder. This stuff is so good, you all. This has got to be my, my favorite powder, and this is it. And I'm almost trying to show you all how close I am to finishing that. I've been trying to, I, I, I'm almost finished with it. This powder is so good. Cover Effects just has some good face products. Um, if you don't have, if you're in the market for a really good powder uh, and a really good color, this is in deep and this, uh, you're, if you're near my skin tone, you might want to try this one out. It just gives a really, really pretty finish. So definitely, I really recommend that. And for April 6th, the only thing on my wish list is the It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Voluminizing Mascara. And that's on my wish list because everybody loves it. So I'm like, everybody loves it? Okay, well I wanna love it too, so that, <laughs> that's on my wish list, especially since it's 50% off. So yeah, it's going on the wish list, y'all. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, short and sweet. Those are my recommendations, my wish list, and I was thinking about it, but let me know down in the comments what you plan on getting during the sale. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.